everyone, and today we're going to take a look at the E25 game, which is absolutely amazing, I have to say. Uh, this guy here is going to show us just how you play this tank. His name is Dobrik Bogdan. Uh, not sure what it means. Uh, so, we, we know that the E25 has an absolute amazing rapid firing gun if it's able to penetrate the opponent. And it has one of the most insane camel ratings of all time. And the thing is, with E25, you can rip apart your enemies pretty much before they ever even spot you. Uh, if you do use your bushes properly, and of course with a good set of crews, that is definitely possible. Especially how other tank destroyers get nerfed, um, but the premium ones doesn't. Um, so yeah, just this tank is just so awesome. I cannot recommend it enough, but of course now you can't get any more, which is a shame. But uh, I think the war game did the right thing. Instead of nerfing it, they just removed it and gave you plenty of time to buy it at the time. But again, if you didn't buy it, then good luck getting it in the future because I don't think that's gonna happen, or at least not yet, not anytime soon. And you might be wondering why am I not posting any water tank related contents recently? Well, the game uh, is pissing me off quite a bit, so I'm not really enjoying it. And I'm not really even really playing it, so yeah, this is not really ideal. But I just doesn't it just doesn't make sense to me at the moment since I'm trying to do my mission and I've been getting like close to the 7k mark every single time and I don't get it. So I missed out by like 60 health points or something like that, and I can't believe that actually happened. You know, oh, it's disgusting, um, absolutely disgusting. It, it feels just disgusting how you can't do your missions. So now I'm, well, I'm wondering, um, do, do, wait, if I have completed four of the five classes, uh, with it, like, let's say I don't do the SPG missions, I only do the tank destroyer, the heavy tank, the medium tank and the light tank. Now if I do four, uh, three of them, with all of them on the l last f mission 15 um, completed fully with honors, does that mean that um, for to require to get the actual tank reward tank, you need the fourth one to be uh, done with honor, or, the, or does it not matter, or something like that? I'm not sure on that. If you know what I'm talking about here, tell me um, because I'm I'm not sure. But look at the IS. He cannot see the E25 here. He just simply cannot spot him even though the E25 is pumping shot after shot into him uh, of which they are bouncing and that's expected in the E25 to be honest and he has done the right thing in my opinion to load no HE because the HE round doesn't really penetrate anything and I just don't see the point of using it when you reload so quickly you know it's just just use AP AP or APCR uh, them two are the ones that you need to used to win your games. The thing is this tank doesn't carry a lot of ammo so you're you're going to run out of ammo easily. More easy than other tanks I would say. And certainly firing like that clutch wise is not really that good of an idea because especially when you're kind of losing here you want to make sure every single shot counts. Now, what I don't like the way he's playing is that he's playing too defensively like is he, 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 there were a lot of more different like it, there were lots of other choices you could have made made rather than you know waiting for his whole team to die but uh we're, we're just gonna see how he does and deals with it uh sniping the m5 from here can he do it no don't seriously don't waste your ammo like this if you want to win this you gotta really save your ammo the, this tank you cannot afford to lose ammo especially when the game is tough like this and well, the good thing is you know the, the enemies are not full health so he is more likely to pick off a few of them with one shot and now they're, they're cresting into the base and E25 because of the speed of a light tank almost like an ELC in fact it can drift it can go around the map and execute the opponent oh yeah and Probably by the time you see this video, probably I will be on my way to Tank Fest or uh, you know the, the, the night before I go to Tank Fest, whichever way it is. Uh, I, I've been to 
tank fest uh, by the time you probably see it. So again, I will put some tank fest videos up. Uh, the thing is, you know, other YouTubers doing it. So is there a point for me to do it? I'm not that sure, but I will certainly show some of the funny uh, stuff and also I uh, will meet Jingles and Rita and uh, maybe QB or Circon, depending on what happens. And IS. Oh my God, that is lucky. How on earth did that IS miss him from that distance? Now, if I was him, I might just have gone down there and taken out the IS uh, aggressively. And you can see the thing he's doing it wrong. He, he he just let the IS pump a few shots. On him. I, I don't understand that. But again, it can't be too critical since uh, you know he's under quite a bit of pressure here and there. But look at just how how awesome the size of this E25 is. You can pretty much do what you do in ELC. That Sanzu Bujige Korean guy uh, <laughs> did to the opponents in his ELC on the same map, in fact. Just wraps you, you destroy the opponent. So now it's 1 versus 7. If my math is correct. But you can see there, this is a pretty ideal situation to get to earn your Kulavanov. It's not like it's super duper hard. Uh, but because I don't have any gameplay, I suppose I should just show this one. Since it isn't that bad, but again, I feel like there's quite a bit this guy had, might have gone done wrong. But the, the thing is, uh, I was just trying to illustrate that you know you need a bit of luck with this kind of mission, and if you got it, you need to take it. And here we're gonna see that he is going to take take advantage of the amount of luck he gets in this game. Uh, not that I'm saying that he doesn't have any skills or anything like that, but he, I think, to be honest, a few of the moves he made wasn't uh, that good, but at least it's not critical mistakes where it has costed him any, anything other than reducing his chance to win this game. But uh, now it still seems like he's got a pretty nice chance because the the, RT, the RTs are not that accurate, and oh my god, he is going to catch it, Lorraine. So, oh, oh my god, Lorraine. You don't want to do this, you know, you want to hit your targets, but he missed it by a mile, and that's going to give the E25 the chance to kill him. And now, what I don't like about it is that he, he should have, like, juked way more than he should have done here. Uh, you know, the, the RT sometimes are deadly accurate, but not here in this game. Oh, Tiger, 800 health points. That's going to be hard. But is it going to be hard enough for, for him to lose this? Oh, we'll see. The E25 just can just roam around the map and catch with the opponents wherever they feel most uncomfortable about. So if I was him, I would have gone to this area, got in the bush there, spotted the Tiger one, pumped every single shot I got in into him, and we'll see what he does here. He doesn't quite do the same thing, uh, although he does go this direction. But uh, depending on which bush he uses, I I would use this bush here. Um, and no, oh, he doesn't. He, he instead goes down. But is it the tiger that's in the cab, or is it the artillery? That is a big question at this moment. You don't want to go popping in there. Then the tiger with 800 health points just shoots you while you're distracted by the RT in the cab. You know that that is not going to be a good thing. But he is coming from an une unexpected angle here, and we we'll see if he d does jump into him. And oh, oh. He does shoot the tiger. The tiger doesn't have the gun depression. Oh my lord. The luck just couldn't get more, right? <laughs> oh my god, tiger, please. Oh, this tiger is funny. He's actually reversing backwards instead of you know, either running away or <laughs> turning his tank. Where the gun depression is slightly different. Instead he chooses to reverse and that's just going to give free shots. Uh, even E25 with low penetration will be able to... To, to destroy the Tiger 1 like that. So tell me what you think again of this gameplay but as I said I feel like this is 80% luck sort of thing uh, but there are lots of stuff we can learn from it as you can see it's just that he, he did make a few critical mistakes but it didn't cost him anything so the other ones were actually quite good like this and we oh that was close but now he is moving up and down, up and down, and now this is good. No, look, now he's finally dodging the artillery shots, uh, not going in a straight line anymore, and that surely must mean that he wins this. The Hummel narrowly misses him, 
and he oh can he just get him yeah, I think so the Hummel is not going to outrun an E25 and oh my god mate this is what you don't want to do in your E25 you should chase him in a carousel whatever he does because if, imagine that guy reloaded E25 coming here would get one shotted so if he already was running this way remember artillery takes a long time to, to traverse you should just out, out traverse him out turn him in this uh, carousel circle whatever thing you remember E25 are faster than the artillery so why don't you just circle him around anti-clockwise rather than going the complete op opposite direction and, and giving the Hummel slight chance of killing you so that's my my uh, what's it called my analyze and evaluation of this gameplay uh, feel like that you guys might might le have learnt quite a bit from this and hopefully you ha you you enjoy this pro uh, let's hope and uh, I don't even know how to make the video now uh, it seems like a long time before, since I made the video so uh, normal service will resume pretty much soon I hope and uh, we shall see you next time